Hello Beauty News family! Welcome back to another episode of Beauty News Reviews. This is a series where we do mini reviews of new stuff. So today we are taking a closer look at the new Lush Naked Skincare range. So this was recently gifted to us by Lush. Alright, so here are all of our products. Essentially what we have are solid oils and then naked cleansing products. So this one up here has a green tint, it's also good for priming, and then all of the different cleansers do different things. This one over here is a really cool white product that I think we're both really interested in testing out because it's quite different to anything we've seen. So let's get up close, have a look at them, and then we'll get into testing. So this whole range is available now globally at Lush stores and online, and it's basically their next step towards packaging free products. First up we have the Amazon Primer. So this is a green tinted primer to help neutralize redness in flushed cheeks. It also has lemongrass and electric daisies to help tighten and tone the skin. Banana skin is for thirsty skin. It contains bananas, creamy muru muru and organic illipi butter helps to moisturize the skin. Then we have the Argan Facial Oil. So this uses Argan Oil to help moisturize and rejuvenate the skin. And Lemon Oil helps to brighten and leave you glowing. The Light Touch Facial Oil is to help calm, soothe and refresh the skin. Moving on to cleansers. First up we've got Like a Virgin Cream Cleanser. So this is a solid cold cream cleanser. This one is Sleepy Face Cleansing Balm. So this one is basically designed for nighttime use. Uh, it contains lavender to help calm you down. This one is the Tea Totaler Cleansing Balm and this one's designed for problematic skin. So if you've got spots and things like that, it contains tea tree. This one is the Gritty Politi Cleansing Balm. So this is a cleanser and exfoliator in one. Then we have the Jade Roller Cleansing Balm. So again, this is a cleanser, but it contains whole mung beans and they're meant to help to massage the skin like a jade roller like a jade roller and lastly we have the seven to three cleansing wipe now this is for removing makeup it is very interesting it's a single solid jelly pad so we're going to do the testing on the arm today we both have a selection of these to use ourselves but with all skincare we like to trial stuff for an extended period so this stuff might pop up on our individual channels today we test them on the arm this one is the amazon primer all right so essentially what you're supposed to do is heat this up in your hands and rub it onto the skin i'm going to rub it directly on my skin And essentially what happens with these solid oils is that they melt when they come in contact with heat. That one is doing its thing. Oh, wow. Does it feel nice? It's a, a lot softer and smoother than I thought it would be. Oh yeah. I don't see any green. I don't see any green either. Look. Probably better to have less green than more green, but I, I don't agree. see any green. I don't see any green. So this one has a really nice citrusy scent. Yes, and it almost smells like chamomile. It does, it smells really nice. Now, these, all of these, we'll say this now, they are solid oils, okay? So yes, it does have a balmy feel on the skin. It's not shiny, as you can see. It doesn't feel heavy. I would consider this like a dry facial oil. Yeah, that's what I was that's thinking That's what well. it feels like. It's like it sinks into the skin pretty quickly. Yeah. Like, I put some on the back of my hand and I just feel like I've got a soft hand. Yeah. So, that's actually quite a nice one. It actually feels quite nice. This one is the Banana Skin Facial Oil. So, again, I'm just going to wipe it on this part of my hand, get it warmed up. On my hand. This is my hand. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna take a while to get things warmed up in this weather. Actually, I can already feel that it's like melting on the skin. So it, it does happen fairly quickly. And again, it has that like dry oil feel. It's not, look, I actually expected these to feel a bit heavy. 
on the skin. Yeah, this one's got fresh banana and mango butter. So it I smell sandalwood oil. I can smell the sandalwood. Mm. I think it smells really nice. It's it almost smells a little bit cinnamony. Yeah, it, does, it smells it? warm. This one feels a little bit thicker than the last one. A little bit, yeah. But not heavy. Yeah. Like it it does feel a bit richer, maybe. Yeah. Is that a, an okay term for it? But it's not like it's not greasy or heavy. It just feels like feels like a facial oil. Yeah. Like a good quality facial oil. And if you are concerned about banana scents, it doesn't It doesn't, doesn't really smell, smell like, like banana. banana. No. But if you are allergic to banana, it does have banana in it. Yes. This one is the Argan Facial Oil. So again, it's a solid facial oil. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. And if you're a fan of Rose Argan... Body conditioner. Like cat. Oh, I love it. Get this excited. This has the same scent. So this contains Argan Oil, Prickly Pear Oil, Rose Absolute, and Organic Rose Hip Oil. I know Rose Hip Oil works really well for my skin, so I'm super keen to try that. I'm ASAP. keen too, because I love argan oil this one interesting it feels okay i'm going to say heavier like the banana one in comparison to the primer. the primer but it's not like heavy uncomfortable or greasy or anything like that um but it it's kind of thinner like it doesn't melt as quickly but it feels richer mm. i reckon that would be a dry skin dream yeah but often rosehip oils and argan oils still work really well in oily skins. So yeah, absolutely. I'm going to be using this. I freaking love yeah. rosehip oil. This one is light touch facial oil. So this mm. has chamomile blue oil, ah. cocum butter, cocum butter, and Irish moss infusion with witch hazel extract. Oh, this one feels thicker. Does it? Feel it. It feels balmy. Yeah, that's definitely that moisturizing. That's gonna be good for dry skin. Yeah, this one's interesting though because the witch hazel extract is supposed ah, to help problematic. Um, problematic skin. So, and it's got um, microalgae rich in ox antioxidants to protect your skin from environmental damage. Interesting. So that's a, it's a strange one. But for a light touch facial oil, it might be a heavier one. Feels, it does. It feels a bit thicker in comparison to the others where they have a little bit more of a thinner formula. So I would say in order, the, like, let's say the thickness of how they feel on the skin is pretty much like this. Yeah. <laughs> so thin, still quite thin, but a little richer. Then we have richer again and richest all right we're gonna put our cleansers to the test and we are going to test them on makeup like a virgin cold cream now directions for using these is to actually warm them up in your hands get the oil on your hand and then rub it on your face i only have one hand that i can use today so we're going directly on the skin i'm going to go next to the product rather than on it so i'm not getting black eyeliner all over my cleanser that i now want to take home and use a little bit extra on my hand let's get it in by the way this is the Marc Jacobs highliner yes <laughs> which is actually pretty uh Quite long fun. wearing <laughs> yeah I know I was it's I was thinking oh, we might be doing a disservice to this product but um no it's pretty uh good. it's it's pretty good so this contains organic extra virgin olive oil, Sicilian lemon oil, organic jojoba oil, and mimosa wax. Mmm, she smells good. She smells like lemons. I'm happy. Okay, off screen, we have a bucket of, or... Bowl. A bowl of warm water. I'm just going to dip my fingers in and see if this emulsifies. No. Does not emulsify at all? Non-emulsifying. So the recommended way to remove these is to take a damp cloth and to wipe the product off your skin. And it actually removes pretty easily. 
She's clean. One down. All right, this one is called Sleepy Face Cleanser. All right, so this is designed for night use. Um, it's got lavender oil in it to like help chill you out. Yeah, it's also got oat milk, almond oil, and lavender absolute. This one is, oh, there we go, we've got a little bit. This one is firmer than the one that we just used. So I'm just trying to get it to break down. Oh yes, oh yes, okay. Oh, okay. cream contour, gone cream in a contour, second. Cream contour, gone in a second. So this one also feels a little bit thinner than the one uh, that we just used. So firmer and thinner. Yep. Let's see if it emulsifies. No. No. Next up we have Teetotaler. So this one is designed for problematic skin. Um, it's got tea tree oil, witch hazel, sage oil, and rosemary oil. And it smells like tea tree. Whoa, she's firm. Honey. Honey. <laughs> Honey, you're hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, Lush. <laughs> oh, okay. So it seems like a less oily cleansing yeah. oil. Yeah, it's actually, it feels like a dry oil. Like, definitely not as balmy as the ones that we just used. All right, let's see if this emulsifies. No. No. Death's None. Not. Death's not. I feel like I'm still a bit pink under there. Yeah. But that might be because I did put uh, lipstick all over my arm. So, <laughs> you know, let's not blame the cleanser for that. We're also not in a like sink environment where no. you can really work things in yeah. and rinse it off. Like. This is just uh, an example of, you know, how they work. Um, does anything explode when you put them on your skin? The answer is no. So far, no. All right, Gritty Politty. This is actually a scrub and a balm in one. So. I'm keen for that. I'm keen to see how this goes. So this has ground coconut shell, oh. sandalwood oil, rosewood oil, and cocum butter again. Okay, this one dissolves or like breaks down pretty easily on the skin. That liner has had a really long time to set as well. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna break you up. I know. I know it can do it. All right. So what I can say about the little gritty bits that are on there, you can probably see there's not many. Um, now you might end up with extra bits um, if you were to massage this into your hands first and then rub it on your face. But those little gritty bits are fairly gentle. I can feel that they do scrub, but this is no, you know, Dr. MD scrub. Yeah. This isn't um, going to resurface your skin. It's gentle. Let's see if it emulsifies. No. No. Let's remove this and see how clean the skin is. Oh, wow. Pretty good. That one actually... That worked pretty well. That and that removes quite clean as well. That's I'm, I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now and I'm gonna use that one tonight. Yeah, give it a go. Next up we have Jade Roller. Now this again is a cleansing balm, but it has solid mung beans in it. And you can actually use those mung beans to help massage the skin. This also has clary sage oil, geranium oil, and hazelnut oil. So far, I haven't seen any main ingredients being coconut oil, which I'm happy about. That's pretty cool. Because that does clog a lot of people's skin. It can, yeah. All right, so that one, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but that has broken down or like melted on the skin quite well. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of like excess oil. It's a very um, thin feeling balm, which is nice. And it's... How, did, 
How did the beans feel? Well, you know, I didn't really feel like I was getting there. I feel like you have to use it a little bit to yeah, sort of to wear, down. to wear it down. Yeah. 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 That broke down the cream contour very easily. Let's see if it emulsifies. No. No. <laughs> I see a pattern here. Yeah. But we're going to continue anyway. We are. All right, let's see how this wipes away. There we go. She is clean. This is last, but certainly not least, and the one that we are most interested in. It's called the 7 to 3 Cleanser. It's biodegradable, and it is supposed to replace makeup wipes. Yeah, so this is essentially a cleansing wipe. Yeah. And um, you can take this, as long as you let it dry out, you can take this traveling with you. Yeah. It's supposed to be used up to, I think, 20 uses. It's quite flexible. It's floppy. It's a little bit jelly. Uh, and it's got fresh dove orchid infusion, ylang ylang oil, and carrageenan extract. I don't know what that is. Honey. No, neither do I. But essentially what you do with this is you dip half of this in water or pop it under a running tap, but just half. Then you take the wipe and you rub it on your skin. Oh my goodness. Oh How's my it goodness. It it feels it feels like almost soapy. That's so strange. But is it actually going to break down the makeup? That is the question. So I think this is the mm. one that uh, they said it doesn't remove long wear makeup. Yes. I think this is the one. But I'm going to say this. It feels like it's starting to dry out already. I'm going to re-dip. Because I wouldn't rub something dry like this on my face and expect it to actually do anything. So I'm going to go for round two. This feels like... Oh, it's so strange. Feels like a cream. All right, I'm gonna get this wet and see how it goes. This one emulsifies. So yeah. this is this is interesting because it feels almost like a cream balm hybrid, um, but when you get it wet, it sort of loosens up again. So they still recommend that you rinse this away with a clean damp cloth and they do show I believe on the website they show rinsing at the sink as well so I think you can do both but since we clearly have something that is stuck to the skin I'm gonna try the wipe method it's removed quite a lot of it it has it's broken it down so it's coming off. It doesn't get all of it off. It hasn't got all of it off. Now, I think it's fair to point out that that lipstick swatch has been on my skin for over 20 minutes. So it's had time to set. Yeah. It hasn't broken down over the day with the natural oils or eating or drinking or anything like that. So that is a fresh set lipstick swatch. Yeah, but also this type of product. So what we do now is we rinse this off so it's yeah. nice and clean and then you put it out to dry. Yes. So let's just do that quickly right. to complete it. Okay, so I think what we worked out with this is potentially not going to remove all of the makeup. Yeah, um, and I don't. it's not designed to though. I think it's designed to be more of the second cleanse yeah. or the, you know, you don't Final have cleanse. Yeah, yeah, you don't have much makeup on, so this is a cleanse. If you wanted to remove makeup, you'd go in with the oils first. Yeah, so I like, agree. for example, you would pair it with this. Yeah, I Put agree. Some of that on first, cleanse it off with that. Now, what I can say about my skin is that it doesn't feel greasy. It feels hydrated. It doesn't feel dry. This actually made my skin feel really cool and refreshed in that area, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm excited to try these. Now, I was concerned that these 
guys, these little solid oils would leave a greasy residue on the skin. Um, that's something that I don't personally like mm -hmm. with solid or balm cleansers. And there are some super duper expensive ones on the market that will leave me greasy and uncomfortable after washing my face. But these actually wipe away really well. Feel me. Oh, smooth. It's, it's not greasy, it's not sticky, it's smooth, it looks clean. So I'm actually a little bit excited to try these. I'm excited too. I was a bit worried to begin with. Yeah, so because, was I. Yeah, because yeah. too many oils I yeah. can break out, but these seem like they're decent oils that yeah. aren't too heavy. I think if you are into no packaging products, this is potentially a really good place to look. Um, Lush do sell little tins that you can keep your products in otherwise you could go to a two dollar shop and find little boxes maybe you have tupperware container at home now everything here should be kept out of damp environments um, or out of the flow of water you wouldn't keep these in the shower they'll melt um, which is probably why you would want a little tin or a box to put them in yeah you could also get little suction cup shelves that yep. you can put uh, in your shower if you did want to have anything like this in your shower but these are more out of shower things yeah they like are. at the sink things if you wanted to cleanse you'd probably go in with this and then jump in the shower yep. um you you probably wouldn't you, you wouldn't take these in these no. oils and stuff put They're them just, on dry melt. skin yeah and then jump in the shower yep. afterwards so massive thank you to Lush for giving us the opportunity to play with these. If you guys want to check out any of these further, you can find them in your local Lush stores. And we'll leave a link to the Lush websites for the UK, USA and Australia in the description box. You can check them out. Not sponsored, not affiliates. <laughs> no, just curious. Just curious. If you have tried any of this Lush stuff in your personal routine and you have feelings, leave them down in the comments. Let other people know what you thought of them, what you tried, how long you used it for, and how you went with them. And you might see these on our individual channels sometime in the near future. Definitely. Mine definitely, because I'm gonna play with them. Yeah, I'm keen to yeah, play with them. Yeah, I'm keen to have a go with this. Um, this is fun. This is fun, I like it. And if it works, it's a great step. Absolutely. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.